was working in a bakery shop and I just felt that I had a little bit more to offer in life than just constantly being in sales or um, because I come from a relationship which wasn't really good at the time and I had two, two young boys to support. I always felt that I never had any opportunities to do anything I wanted to do. Um, she was very, very low on confidence. Um, she wasn't a particularly, you know, she wasn't a very bubbly type of person. She was, she was quite, quite reserved, quite quiet in, in that respect. She wasn't, she didn't have very much confidence at all. My children were playing rugby in Aberavon. I used to do most of the first aid in for the children. And there was a course up here which was uh, first aid for management activities. You know, decided that it was time to enrol and to get a little bit more education as my children were starting to grow up. And it was something that I felt in my life it was time for me to do. As she's developed now, the change has been absolutely tremendous. She came in, she did a level two course, three courses with me at level three. And she did um, additional workshops, summer workshops. And the great thing about Claire is, is she's funded it all herself. So despite all her, the difficulties and financial hardship that she's also endured, she's, you know, I mean, she's a, an amazing inspiration really for me. I mean, when I was studying here in college, what sort of really started the ball rolling was the fact that I had an opportunity to go to Cardiff Blues and to do massage work with players up there. Um, the year after, I had an even better opportunity to go with the Ospreys to train as well. So it sort of gives you such a big insight to think, well, you know, it isn't just running onto a field anymore. There is bigger avenues to be explored as well. And I've got no nothing but, but time and praise for Claire. She's absolutely fantastic. A fantastic example of what can be done and what can be achieved from somebody with relatively low self-esteem and tough times, difficult times, right the way now to, well, you saw a person who, well, you can't shut her up. <laughs> if you want to achieve anything in life, it's never too late to do it. And never feel as though you can't do it because you can have the help out there to achieve it. She's a major, major source of inspiration and I wish her all the best for the future. Good luck, Claire. I'm, I'm more proud of the fact that I've had this because Obviously, as a mother figure to two young boys as well, it sort of says to them, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs>